Thank you very much for the invitation to take part in this meeting. Today, I will share some information about cerebral vascular disease in COVID-19. In COVID-19 fighting, our team described the neurological manifestation uh, of COVID-19. And we also built an acute cerebral vascular disease following COVID-19. Uh, and we discussed that the post-pandemic change of CVD character after the COVID-19. First, let me briefly introduce that the neurological manifestation of COVID-19. Um, there was 214 patients with COVID-19 of over research work, and 41% were severe cases. In these cases, one third patients with neurological septembers. More common in severe patients, neurological manifestation including CNS. PNS and the skeletal muscular injury most occurred earlier in the year needs, one or two days after onsite. CVD often happens around two weeks after onset of infection. And here is the publish, publication of our paper. And the other two research also gets the same conclusion. It's the Spanish research found that more than 50% of the patients had a neurological manifestation. 1.7% patients had a CVD. And the, the mean time is over 10 days. Other research in Sweden, they found a higher mobility of uh, CVD. And they used SWI and found that it's uh, abnormal, very common in the patients with COVID-19. It's a little different from ours. In novel research, the hemorrhage is not high. In over research, we found that the CVD patients often have some risk factors. The older, that the average around 75.7. The patients often with severe COVID-19. 80, more than 80% with severe COVID-19. Some have CVD, CVD risk factors like hypertension, diabetes, medical history of CVD. The high inflammatory risk factors and high coagulation states often indicate the high risk of CVD. We found the CRP and the D-dimer could be the biomark of CVD. In these patients with CVD, we found all kinds of typos, like uh, nodule vessel osteoporosis, small vessel occlusion, cardioembolism, and the, the hemorrhage is exactly not so high. Let me show some cases. The first case is a female, 70 year old. She was found disreal and weakness and numbness of left limbo after onset of COVID-19, 23 days later. And the, the CD scan, we can see that frontal parietal infection focus. She received the anti treatment and recovered on, on discharge with uh, middle dysfunction. 
The second case is a 82-year-old female. She occurred this arthritis and the right hemiplegia on uh, February 19, and then she arrived at the emergency department. At that moment, we didn't find the focus in the brain, and the CT scan did not have obvious infection focus. We gave him, uh, give her cerebralysis treatment, and uh, she gets improved the function. The second day, we found the focus, and uh, that's the uh, pneumonia developed, developed obviously, uh, and she discharged it with middle neurological dysfunction. The third case is, is a hemorrhage case. A man, 16 years old, was found weakness and numbness of right labor on day 10 after onset of COVID-19. We can see the CT show that the hemorrhage of left internal capsule is a small focus. He received the, the supporting treatment, but unfortunately, finally died 13 days later. The, third, the, the fourth case is a uh, 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 cerebral venous sinus cerebrosis. A young man, a 32 year old, with severe COVID 19. This patient was found in pirate consciousness and seizure on day 14 mm -hmm. after onset of COVID 19. He received the anticoagulation treatments and recovery the family. In that the CT scan, we can see the multiple hemorrhage. CTV showed that it was sinus cerebrosis. After the shutdown, re, uh, after the reopen of the city, we restore back to that's the CVD during the, uh, the, the quarantine time. We found that the mobility of CVD decreased obviously. Maybe that was because of the quarantine lifestyle change and the, the pollution decreased and the stress decreased, maybe. And uh, so we also found that the sober nice's treatment also decreased obviously. But the DNT uh, was was nearly doubled during the epidemic. That's the same period we compiled. And the MIS uh, zero to one score decreased, obviously. But during that period, the sobrolysis still benefits to that acute ischemic stroke patient. We should face the change and the challenge of the post after the post COVID-19 era. Uh, maybe that's the spec spectrum of and the type of the CVD change. More venous disease we found happened. And we also should face the normal medical work and how to prevent that resurgence of the pandemic. The other thing that mental disease happens often. Thank you very much.